Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we do another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So, well it's the third video I've made today of this, so I really want to push these out as much as possible. I want to try and get as much done as uh, possible this week before I go on holiday. So it's, like I said, in all the other videos probably this week, it's um, one video every day this week. And every day, or every two days this week, there'll be one episode of this. And then, obviously, all the other days will just be normal videos with all different series and stuff. So, yeah, and I'm also pre-recording a lot of videos before I go on holiday right now. So, yeah, I thought I'd just pump out as many as I can, because why not, right? So, yeah, today we're doing two systems from Mr. Miss a lot. So, I'll, I'll leave a um, link to him down below in the description, um, like always. So, first system we've got today is called the Omicorn Percy. So, apparently, it's something to do with future armor. Now, I've never seen Futurama, so I don't really know anything about it. So I'll just review it like I would with a normal system. But anyone who likes Futurama, then I hope you enjoy it. Um, since you probably know what um, these objects mean. But so, no, it's not called Futurama system. It's called the... Let me just uh, look at the uh, thing here. It's called the Omicron. Okay, so... O-M-I. Here we go. So, Omicron Perseal system. I hope I'm saying that right. But yeah, we've got this system here. Right, so, how... Let's see what we've got here. So, it's got... Over 3,000 objects in here. Okay, that's quite a lot of stuff. So, let's uh, zoom in here. So, oh, that's a lot of stuff. So, here's our center star here. So, here's Omicron Purcell. So, there we go. F 8 luminosity of sun. So, it's quite big. Obviously, it's larger than the sun as well by the stats there. There's the sun for comparison. So, there we go. There's our star. Okay, let's get into this. So, here's uh, the first planet here. So, it's completely smoking up. I won't say Omicron Purcell every time because it's... Kind of, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. So we've got the first planet here. So it's a completely burnt up planet. Very hot here. 2,400 degrees. So there's our first object. Next up we've got um, planet number two. Which is a gas giant. Okay, so we've got a gas giant in the inner system here. A little larger than Neptune and Uranus. By about, I don't know, 8 or 9,000 kilometers. Somewhere around that size. We'll get a comparison. Why not? There's Uranus. So a little bigger. So there we are. So it's 400 degrees as well, so still a very hot area here. Next up we've got the third planet here, also a gas giant. It's also got its own ring system as well. It's got a moon called OP3A. I'm guessing maybe that's a reference to the uh, Futurama. It's also got OB3B, then OP3C. Oh no, I'm guessing OP means Omicle Purcell. Okay, I get it now. So it's got a ring system as well. Okay, cool. So that's the first, uh, oh no, the third planet, sorry. So next up we've got the fourth planet. Another burn up rocky planet. So it's still in the hot zone of the star right now. Can we use the zone option? Let's see here. Oh, so still the red area then. Okay, so 700 degrees. Obviously there's no life here, so we don't need to check the stats. So it's completely burned up. Not the largest object ever as well. It's losing material. We can see it's all smoking up there. Um, the fifth planet, um, let's go to you now. So this is a water world, 90 degrees, so very, very hot water here, so I wouldn't want to jump in there. Um, then it's got a very cold ice water world near it as well, so that'll have a lot of ice in it. So they have a very hot water world, then a cold water world, so that's quite a unique mix to have there. So this guy probably ref well, has a, it reflects enough light to stay under 100 degrees, but this guy reflects a lot of light for it to stay under 0 degrees. I'm pretty sure if we decrease this, it would warm up, so yeah, there's that. So we'll leave them the way like they are supposed to be. Um, next up, we've got number six. So that's this one up here, Omicron Purcell six. So it's also got a moon here. So it's got a Pluto around it. Hello, Pluto, and it's got a tiny little moon around Pluto as well, which is just a random asteroid. Oh, excuse me, guys. Oh, god damn, this heat is exhausting. So. Yeah, if you didn't know, the UK is really hot right now. Now I'm going to go even, once I go to Italy, that's where I'm going, I'm going to be even hotter there. It's going to be great fun. But at least it has fans in the rooms, that will, or uh, giant turbines that will keep us cool. But yeah, that's that. Um, next up, we've got um, number seven here. So this one's at 44 degrees. It's still quite hot for a water world. Um, check this. So it's got 54 life likelihood. Okay, 82 similarity. Not bad. Not any land on it, though. It's also got a moon that's smoking up. Very, very low, low Earth likelihood here. I'm guessing the object's just too small. Yeah, 392. Very small little world there. Ooh. So there we've got um, OP7A there. So tiny little um, moon as well. So 340 um, kilometers there. Okay, so there are those guys. 
Um, next up we've got number eight. So this is a forest lookalike object. Or oh, it looks like a more of a forest sort of world. It's got land looking very nice indeed. There's its own colour. It's got loads of things orbiting it here. These are all um, minor asteroids I'm guessing. Yeah, any, any big object will get torn apart. So yeah, we won't go and look at all of those since they're all the same pretty much. So here it is here. Let's check the composition. 45.5 um, likelihood, 87 similarity. Okay, so there is that. Number eight. Okay, number nine, where are you at? Here is number nine. Okay, so number nine, another blue atmosphere. So you guessing blue is probably one of your favorite colors here. So 27 degrees, it's made of iron, a lot of iron here, no water. Um, it's also got some random moon, or one random moon. It's got a bit, some asteroids orbiting in it as well. There, you, I can spot them there. So it looks like a ring system that may have disappeared. So there's a lot of objects. Next up, we've got mining drone. Okay, so there's an asteroid belt here. So this is a mining drone. It would mine those rocks, the metals and stuff, and the ores. So yeah, that is out there. Okay, so there's all of that. So next up over here, we've got Nemesis. Okay, so this is the Brand of War um, object here. It's got its own ring system as well. So it has Nemesis 1, so it's a gas giant there. And Nemesis 2, so this is a frozen ice world. Uh, Nemesis 3, another frozen ice world, very small one there. Uh, number four, another frozen ice world. Five, so a tiny little object. Number six, also a tiny object. Number seven, so it's got seven A and seven B. So there's a little system here. These are both also little asteroids. They're very close. Whoa, they are ridiculously close together. Wow. Let's just land on one of these guys. Let's look around. That thing is quite in your face, isn't it? Look at that. They are so close together. So. Yeah, there are all those. Now, is that it for this system? Is there any more? No, that looks like it's it. Okay, so let's get a line up all these um, things here. So here we go. So there we go. There's a whole line up. My favourite is definitely that green one there. That is my favourite of this whole system. So we got that. And then there's the rest of them there. So there's our line up. It's got a flashlight. So there's a good look at them all there. So the Brown Dwarf is a lot larger than all the gas giants. And obviously the star's bigger than them. So there is all of those guys. So next up, we're going to check um, so this, the next system. Yeah, because we've got two to do today from Mr. Mr. Lot. So um, we've got two here. So the next one is Black Hole System. So Black Hole System, here we go. And from that picture, it looks like it has a star orb in it. Okay, so how big is this guy? Ooh. Okay, so we've got... Um, no, I don't think it's got as many objects. 2004. Ooh. I'm so sorry guys, I don't know why I'm yawning because I was fine before I started making videos today so I don't know what's up there, but anyways Black Hole 1, so B1 so it's uh, obviously a black hole there so, look at how large is this black hole 100 suns, very small in radius so very tiny little guy, so it's in a binary orbit with this star Hess and it looks like a very similar Alpha Centauri lookalike here, so there's Alpha Centauri A so let's put you there, so very similar to you I'm guessing 1.1 suns Oh no, it actually is Alpha Centauri. I guessed from the radius, well, not the radius, the mass, sorry, 1.1. I know Alpha Centauri has that. So this is Alpha Centauri. So Hess. And then we've got Tess. So this is an all water world at 48 degrees. It's still very hot for a water world. So this will be very, very hot here. Definitely wouldn't want to jump in there either. 40 degrees, no thank you. That would be very hot. So there is Tess. Um, composition 17 on the likelihood. Okay. Um, so next up we've got um, Sa or Salib Salby? Sal Salibi, so this is a red, dark, dark sort of red, dead looking world, more of like a volcanic barren wasteland, it sort of reminds me of um, this one here. So larger than Earth in mass and radius as well, so there's that. Obviously composition, it's just a zero on life because there's no water or anything like that, no atmosphere. Um, but next up we've got, okay, Akab. I can here. Okay, so this is a ice world of an atmosphere as well. So yeah, minus one hundred eighty-one degrees. So it's obviously cold here. How far are we from the star? The orbital parent. Uh, um, no, orbital plane. No. Oh, excuse me. I got something stuck in my throat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh man, I got something really clogged up there. <laughs> Please excuse me again, guys. I don't know what happened there, but. Um, so you're also appeared three years. It's 11 AU away. Okay, I think my voice is dying. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, we've got um 11.3 AU. It's also got a moon called um Fit in us, and it looks like an exact replica of the of planet it's orbiting, except the blue on it is slightly different. This is I know the blue is the same actually. 
I think. Yeah, the, it's the same shade of blue um, for the atmosphere there. So there they both are. Let's get a view. Why not? Let's have a look. So there we go. Let's look around. So where's, there's our planet over there. So there's a the sort of view from the planet you or the moon you'd get. So that, there you go. So yeah, these guys are obviously too cold. So too far away from the star. So obviously the zone is there. So these guys are way out of the zone. Next up we've got... Um, oh, is that a modern object? Um, we've got R Racina here. It's all in one colour. Is it all in one colour? Let's get a look. Oh, no, it's got a, it's got a brown and like a cream bit at the bottom. I almost thought this, the planet was all one colour. That would have been quite a good uh, random spawn there. But um, there we go. So it's also got little um, objects orbs in it as well. Here's a larger moon. So there, it's very getting dark now as well. How, how far is this from the star? Ooh. Okay, so it's 23.4 AU away, okay, so 11, 11 year old, but it's sort of like a Uranus-Neptune distance now, somewhere around there, so that's Racina, and then next up we've got Beyond, so this is really far, it's a red dwarf, hello red dwarf, so it's a lot further than Neptune's orbit now, so a little red dwarf here, it's only 70,000, 84 Jupiter, so a very tiny little guy, literally only a tight, literally a tad bigger than Jupiter, it's also got some objects around it, so inner dust, or Igna dust, up, up Entis. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's got water on it. Um, studio mode. So it is there. So it's a red atmosphere with a purple and blue landscape. That is a very nice mix of colours. That that is cool. That's definitely my favourite object I've seen here. 41 degrees. Still very hot as well though. Uh, 91 similarity and it's 48.4 on the lifelike good. Not bad. Um, then it's got another frozen object out here. A Ala Aleteski. Something like that. I think that's how you say it. Okay, so the last object we have is Tayan. So how far is this guy? 323 years, 219 AU away from the orbital parent. Okay, so yeah, this guy's very far. It's got its own ring system as well. It's all alone out here. Poor little planet. Um, there we go. Oh no, poor little. It's bigger than Earth. So yeah, poor, poor planet. And there's one more object out here. What is this? So this is Titusta. So these guys, I guess it's a binary orbit. Yep. Yeah. With at press so it's a frozen green object here so guessing these two are in a binary orbit and they got ejected from the system maybe that, maybe that's the story behind it but yeah we've got um these two here and yeah there we go so that is it for the black hole system so let us know down below which system is better do you think this system is the black hole system or do you think the first system which i showed is better so that was the um omicron purcell system which, which one do you think is better let me know down below so i'm pretty sure mr mr lot the creator of this um We'll be interested to hear your thoughts on this and see which one is better. But my favourite, this is this one. It is nice, but the purple one is my favourite. But that's coming in second place. I do like that barren, like wasteland sort of look to it. That is cool. Reminds me of my like futuristic Earth I made. Yeah, but this pink one here, that is definitely my favourite. That is a very nice mix of colours there. But yeah, there we go, guys. So if you um like this video, um um make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So, obviously, a massive, huge thanks for watching this video. And yeah, that is pretty much everything. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.